Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? If you guys could please like and subscribe, it really help build my channel. Now, in terms of what we're going to talk about today, it's actually going to be the state of my collection, at least most of it. I would say this is about 85% of my collection, the stuff that I can actually get to. So let's just get straight into this. I'm going to basically show you what I got going on, what I got going, sneakers from last year, you know, throughout the years and stuff like that. We got to start off nice. It's going to be the corduroy dunk right here. This is a real staple in my collection. <laughs> I would say for an SB, it is definitely the sneaker I wear the most. I mean, this sneaker is pretty solid, I would say. It matches most stuff, and it's just a good, you know, ride or die type of sneaker going on. Now, the next thing we're gonna get into, sneaker I kinda regret buying, and that's definitely gonna be my LeBrons. I bought these LeBrons and they kind of look like the Air Max colorway. I mean, they're definitely going for an Air Max colorway. As you guys can see here, they even have the eyelets of the 90s. I don't know, just not feeling these. I thought I would rock these more, but I really just don't. I think it's a shoe that can be nice to wear sometimes, but not necessarily the shoe that I uh, grab out of the closet for a lack of better words. <laughs> Um, the next sneaker we're going to go through is going to be one of my favorite sneakers in my entire collection. It's going to be my Plums. I think the Plums are one of the prouder sneakers that I have in my collections. I actually did an oval lace swap here. So oval laces and their burgundy. I love it. I think this is, even if you're getting a Dunk and not an SB, I think it should have an oval lace swap in my opinion. Overall, I think these shoes are amazing. Next sneaker up is actually going to be the undefeated Dunk Highs. I mean the Fragment Dunk Highs. I don't know. I like the colorway. I think the colorway is really nice, but I've done this a million times. I've covered this in videos. I think the quality is not great. The leather doesn't feel too great, but the colorway is sick. It's definitely a shoe that I like in my collection, but not one I'd be afraid of getting rid of, honestly. I'm trying to work out a deal now so I can get rid of it. If you guys hear my cat, I have two cats and they're fighting it out right now. Next sneaker that I'm gonna talk about here is gonna be my Cherry 13s. I think the Cherry 13s are probably one of the better 13s out of all of them. It's just a, it's a beautiful colorway and really solid materials as you guys can see here. I've had these for a long time. I would love to do the story about them, but um, these are a really great sneaker. One of the sneakers I'm proud of having in my collection. I would love the flints. I would love the core purples. I kind of just like 13s. I think it's a really solid colorway. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys still copping 13s? I don't see too many people with 13s, funny enough. Next up is going to be the Orbital Gray ZX 8000s. I love these shoes. They're definitely a summer shoe with the all white and the gray. These are my supplement to not having the gray dunks. If I had the great dunks, I probably wouldn't have these in my collection, but I don't know. It's Adidas, it's nice, they're very, very comfy. And a sneaker I rock a lot in the summer. These kind of go with everything and anything. And they're a unique silhouette. They're definitely a shoe that you don't see people wearing a lot in general, but I don't know guys. If, if you get a ZX8000, get these or get the Bape collab. I think that's the best you're gonna get because <laughs> The thing about the ZX8000s is they do crazy colorways and they're not so easy to wear with those wild colorways. Next sneaker I got up is actually gonna be my trainers. This is a, I guess an Air Max. I got these a really long time ago. Obviously they say Air Max on the tongue, but I got these a very long time ago and they're pretty, I mean, they're pretty DS. I don't really wear them a lot. I think I've probably wore these three or four times, <laughs> tops. Um, interesting colorway, not the easiest to match. I like that Nike on the air in the back, that is kind of cool. But just overall, an, an okay shoe, got really cheap leather on the front, materials aren't super comfortable, they're actually not that comfortable. Now they are half size down for what I normally wear, that could be an explanation, but I've had them for like six years, so, <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't know. Next sneaker I have in my collection is going to be the Pine Green Dunks from the J-Pack. I mean, the materials on these are really awesome. I mean, it's just new buck with tumbled leather. That's my thing. I, I love tumbled leather. 
and I love quality. And these are, green is actually one of my favorite colors, so it's really fun to wear these. I actually do wear these a lot. These shoes get a lot of use. Not horrible on the back, keep my soles clean, but I do wear these a lot. These are fun to wear, they kind of match a lot of stuff, and it's one of the shoes I really like in my collection. You're gonna see a lot of SBs here today, <laughs> and a lot of dunks, but these are definitely in my, my top five for sure. Next sneaker is going to be another SB. It's actually gonna be another shoe from the J-Pack and that's gonna be the Shadow SBs. I love, 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 love these. I mean, these are another one. Tumble leather, new book, gotta love it. And the tumble leather actually is on the sides even and it's pretty decent. I mean, these shoes are really, definitely another favorite of my collection. Now, weirdly, a favorite of my collection not so much use. If you guys look at the toe box and stuff like that, I mean, I barely wore these from where I got them. I mean, there's just, I don't wear them a lot and I think it's because I spent, I spent a lot on them and I don't wanna have to replace them. I know you're supposed to wear your shoes, but these are one of the shoes that I'm kind of coveted about because it is one of my favorite shoes. I really like the Jordan 1s and the Shadow Jordan 1s, not the 2.0s, but the 1.0s are really, this is my Jordan 1 Shadow, you know, 1.0. Obviously it's a Dunk SB, but this is the version that I really want. And I don't know if I want to kill these. You know, I don't want to know if I want to beat these shoes up. But, I do like them. I am going to try to get some more use out of them this summer. Really awesome shoe to have in the collection. Now let's take an SB break here. So we're actually going to talk about the Jordan 6. All-Star or Chameleon, whatever you want to call them. These... Another great shoe. A shoe I actually do wear a lot. I mean, the bottoms are not too beat, but it's definitely a shoe I really enjoy. I recently did a review about them because I felt like it's one of the slept on Jordan 6s of the time. I mean, these are, I don't know. These aren't too bad. I think they're really easy to wear and they're kind of like a conversation piece. I've always had people tell me like, oh, what are those? You know, like, where'd you get, where'd you get those shoes from? And it's, really shocking because it kind of looks black but in when you're outside that chameleon color really comes out and it's definitely a shoe it will probably stay in my collection forever probably because it's just i don't know i find it so unique sticking with the jordan theme i got the pine green jordan threes right here one of my favorite shoes one of the i mean not the most amazing suede in the world i'll admit but really solid colorway I can't get the cements because I don't feel like paying $450 for them right now. And I'm waiting for them to re-release and I'll pay 300. But these shoes, really solid. I, lo I love the colorway because they're my, they're my way to get the cement threes without having cement threes. Um, not worn yet. And it's because I got them in the winter when they first came out, shout out to PJ. I actually got them early because he got them early and he's like, ah, I don't want them. So that's how I got these. Kind of a special shoe, shoe I probably will never give in my collection because my bud helped me out. They kind of got some sentimental meaning to them, but super dead stock, guys. I mean, this is legit never worn. I think I just laced them and that was it. Now, getting back to the SBs, probably my second most worn SB because I kind of just wear it lazily with everything. And that's gonna be these. I, I really like these. They're all black with a gum bottom, fake snake skin going on there. I don't know, it's not, not the coolest looking shoe, but I like them. I don't know. I think the suede is really awesome, awesome quality. And overall, it's a shoe. I don't know. It's a shoe that I can wear with anything, obviously being black with the gum sole. But the gum sole is really what does it for me. I love, 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 love the gum sole. And this shoe is just, it's one I don't ever see. It's not one I ever see on Instagram. And maybe that's because people don't want it. I'll take them. I'll buy them new. If you have them almost dead stock, I'll definitely cop these again because they legit do go with everything, being black. Next is gonna be a Dunk Low. This is the Rasta colorway. I actually don't have the laces. I got these for super cheap. I saw them online and they weren't too beat up, especially with the age of them. I mean, they're from 2009. They're pretty freaking old for a Dunk. And I mean, look at the suede. It doesn't even look used. There's nothing really crushed about it so i was like okay doesn't have the box that's fine with me it's got the tags inside and he didn't have the laces that was the one thing that i didn't like it would be cool to have the rasta laces but it's something that could be easily fixed with buying rasta laces 
Let me know what you guys think about these. I want to do a review on them, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't have those laces. I think if I had them, I would do it. Without, without a, you know, without a thought, I would do it. But because I don't have those laces, you're not getting the full effect. Let me know what you guys think. Now, probably the last Jordan of my direct collection. I have two more Jordans, but they're tucked away. One is super beat, so I mean, I guess I should show that one, but it's just not near me right now. But it's act this is like the direct shoes that are in my direct collection. And this is a really, really special shoe for me. Um, and that's gonna be the Orion 7. This bad boy has been put through some miles. Look at the yellowing on the midsole, the yellowing on the back tab. I mean, it is, it is a beach shoe. I actually do have the laces. Box got destroyed, uh, sadly. One of my friends stepped on the box and it was just destroyed. The big thing about this shoe is going to be the cracking. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I don't know how many miles I got left with this shoe. It's definitely a shoe I'd love to wear more because I do like that vintage look. And that yellowing on the midsole is, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. These have been worn a lot. Now the reason why these are so special to me is because this is the first shoe that I ever bought with my own money. This is what started it all. I believe these shoes came out in, let me check it out. Uh, I think 2010 is what I'm seeing here, I believe, unless I'm reading that wrong. Um, when these shoes came out, these are the first shoes that I went and bought at Foot Locker. These are the shoes that started the, the entire collection. I actually, I don't think I bought them at Foot Locker. I don't remember where I bought them, but I bought them at a sneaker store. And these were the shoes that I saved up for and really spent my own money as a kid. You know, I was younger at the time and I bought, luckily I was smart enough back then to buy, we were, I didn't grow up the most rich person in the world at all. I didn't have a lot of money when I grew up. So I actually bought a size up from what I normally wear. <laughs> And now these actually fit. I mean, I mean, they still fit. I do. I did have to take out the. Uh, I forgot what that's called. I, I did have to take out the insole inside because the shoe wouldn't fit because it's a ten and a half. But this is a special shoe. This is the shoe that started it all. This is the shoe that started the entire collection. And I really, really, really love sevens. And I want to add more to the collection. I have two sevens lined up for me to get soon. So I'm definitely going to do reviews about those because I have never, ever, ever seen those on people's feet and they're fire. And I'm not talking about the Bordeaux's. I'm not talking about the Columbia's. I, I promise these are worth it. Next shoe in my collection, I will say, is probably my third most worn dunk. And it's one of my favorite shoes of all time in my entire collection and that's gonna be the undefeated dunk. I love this dunk. I think from the materials, I mean, everything about this shoe is cool. The colorway is super unique. I like the yellow laces and I like the yellow swoosh here. Uh, they do come with brown laces too, but I felt the yellow laces were a little more flashy, but there's just so many materials. That's two different materials. Tumble leather on the swoosh. And then two more materials on the toe box. I mean, this shoe is just full of quality. On top of the kind of vintage looking midsole. If you look at the midsole, it looks really awesome. It kind of has, it does, camera's doing it no justice, but it does have like kind of like a off-white color to it. I really like it. This is definitely one of my favorite shoes. Coming close to the end here, I probably have two, including this shoe, two shoes left that I'm gonna show. This shoe I really like, and I couldn't believe I got dead stock. I got these about, I wanna say two years ago, and it's a shoe that I really enjoyed. And that's gonna be the Spot Lance Mountain Dunk SB. This is a super unique shoe with all the little prints of the little guys on there. I love that kind of mint colorway, and it also has really good quality on the back there. Um, this shoe is awesome. This shoe is super awesome. Even the black laces on this shoe have a really cool detail that I'm not sure if everyone notices, which is going to be, they have that mint colorway. Oh, camera won't focus. There it is. It has the mint colorway on the tip of the shoe. 
these are really, really awesome shoes. And one of the shoes that I'm proud to have in my collection, it's kind of, a, like I said, it's a really cool story. So I was sitting on eBay. That's the majority of where my shoes are from are gonna be eBay. I always use the authenticity and guarantee to make sure the shoe's real. But I was sitting on eBay and I was looking for a shoe, an SB, I just typed SB size 11. And I saw these shoes and I'm like, no way they're real. Cause there's something that happens on eBay where people put really high priced shoes and they put them for a lower price. And then when you actually go to buy, eBay cancels the order or they cancel the order because I don't know, they're just trying to be shady. <laughs> and I saw these shoes on there and it was, I was like, there's no way. And it said dead stock. I was like, there's no way I'm about to get a dead stock pair of shoes. I mean, even the, like if you look inside, the sticker for the size, the size sticker is in, has never been a foot on there for sure. And they smell, they smell super new. One of my favorite shoes. I think it's a really cool shoe. It's a shoe that I've never had compliments in person, but I've seen people stare at the shoe wondering what it is. Finally, to wrap it up here, one of my grails in my entire collection, besides the plums, definitely a grail in my collection. Really proud to own this shoe, and that's gonna be the De La Soul as a bees. I mean, these things, these things speak for themselves. They really do. The colorway, awesome. I paid way too much for these, but when I got them, they were dead stock. I actually do wear this shoe a lot, which contradicts my point about the shadows. I don't know, but this shoe, I love, love wearing it. And anytime I wear these shoes, there's always people looking like, what are those? What, what type of shoes are those? Like, I don't know if it's negative, I don't know if it's positive, but these definitely catch people's attention every single time. I love these shoes and a shoe I genuinely will never get rid of. I don't even think I would trade. I think the one shoe I would cons it'll never get to that value. It'll never get to the value. I've seen them now for like 500 to $700, but the one shoe I would like is definitely the Ben and & Jerry's. And I don't know. I think this is a really awesome shoe. I think this colorway is unique. I love the hip hop hints on the side with the De La Soul album, Three Feet High and Rising, that's the name of the album. I don't know, people call these the Ninja Turtles, my wife hates them, <laughs> but I really love that these are in my collection. Now, if I were to pick, if I were to pick to wrap this up here, guys, that's gonna be pretty much everything. Like I said, it's probably about 80% of my collection. I still have more shoes. I have more shoes that I haven't shown, um, which I will maybe, but these are kind of like the state of my hype shoes in my collection. Um, if I were to pick one shoe to be my favorite, I don't know, it's tough. It's definitely tough, but it probably is still the De La Souls. I think truly my favorite shoe is gonna be the De La Soul. It's just so unique, it's a shoe I, if you collect SBs, it's one of the shoes that you just want in your collection. It's the Ben & Jerry's, the De La Souls. Like these are the shoes that you really, really, really want in your collection. And you want them in good condition. And I have it in a great condition. That stock condition is where I bought it and paid way too much for these shoes. <laughs> but, all right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for what my sneakers, my hype sneakers in my collection. What do you guys think about this space? This is probably where I'm gonna record from now on. Uh, unfortunately, my dog needed more space, which you guys saw the dog in the vlog. And I had to move where I usually record because he just needed more space. He needed more places to be. And I feel like this is my desk. This is probably a good place to be. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Is the audio still good? Because I'm in the more echoey part of the house. I have a huge ceiling, so I don't know. We'll find out what the acoustics are like. Um, let me know what's your favorite sneaker of the collection and I'll see you guys next time.